Hey TCPS friends, today we're going to be making a mixed media springtime raining project. This is intended for third through fifth grade, but anybody's welcome to follow along. You will need scissors and glue, construction paper, markers, and a paintbrush with some water. To start the project, you'll want one piece of white paper. Um, this can be construction paper, copy paper, whatever kind of white paper you have. And your paper is going to be up and down, tall and skinny, vertical. Then you will need to grab a piece of colored construction paper. If you don't have colored construction paper, you can still use white paper and then just color in your paper, whatever color you'd like. I've got some scrap green paper over here, so it doesn't have to be a full sheet. And this is what I'm going to use first. I'm first going to make my umbrella for my springtime project. So to make the umbrella, I'm going to draw a half circle just like this. And the size of it will probably be about the size of like in orange give or take so you don't want it to be massive but you want it to be a pretty decent size and once you have your half circle shape you're going to go from one end to the other making little humps like this and this will get you your bottom of the umbrella so this is how our umbrella is going to start, like this. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Now that I've cut out my umbrella, I went ahead and added some designs, um, a pattern to it as well, just to kind of give it some color. So that'll be my umbrella. I'm going to put that off to the side. Now you'll want to pick another piece of construction paper to be your rain jacket. It doesn't have to be the same color, but again, if you don't have any colored paper at home, you can just use markers or whatever you have at home to color it in, so it doesn't have to be colored paper. I'm gonna pick this yellow scrap paper that I have here, and I'm gonna be making my rain jacket. So to make the rain jacket, all you simply do is draw a triangle. Make it a little bit bigger. So now eventually what's gonna happen is the umbrella is gonna go over your triangle like that and your rain jacket will be your body. Um, so your triangle will wanna be pretty big depending on the size of your umbrella. I think this looks a little bit small for a body so I'm going to try that again. The size of your triangle will honestly just depend on the size of your umbrella. Um, if you're a girl, you can make a bigger triangle and then your the bottom of your triangle will kind of be like a rain jacket dress. If you're a boy, you can make a wide but short triangle and then you'll, I'll show you how to make your legs. So this looks a little bit more like the size that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my triangle and add some patterns and designs to my triangle for my body rain jacket. Okay, I've cut out my triangle and I added a little bit of pattern and design to the bottom of it. I'm going to go ahead and glue my umbrella to my triangle, that way I can get an idea of where I still need to draw. I'm gonna go ahead and get some glue on there. Okay. Now from here, we'll have to add the little details to our rain jacket. Um, our rain jacket, so you'll need your arm. So to draw your arm, what you can do is draw a kind of like a cylinder type shape going 
diagonal. So you can make your body face whatever direction you want. So if you want your body to face this direction, then your arm is going to angle up on the right and down to the left. If you want your body to face this direction, your arm is gonna go up on the left and down to the right. Um, I'm gonna make mine face this direction. I'm gonna make it face to the left, but you can make yours face either way. So you're gonna start up on the right and just kind of make a, a um, elongated like rectangle with some rounded edges or a cylinder, whatever kind of shape you wanna call this. Just something along the lines of this. And then you can give yourself a little hand. So a simple hand is, you can look like a mitten. So you're gonna come out and draw a little thumb and then the full hand like that. So there's your arm on your body of your rain jacket. And then you can give yourself a little pocket on your rain jacket. Well, my pocket would be in front. So your pocket will be in front of your arm. So if you're facing this direction, then your pocket's gonna be on the right side because your arm's going to the right. So my pocket is just kind of like a gumdrop shape. And then I'm gonna give my jacket some buttons. So I'm just doing all this with pencil just in case I messed up like I messed up down there. And then I'm gonna go over it all with markers. If I decide that it needs some more pattern, I can do some more pattern, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, color this all in with some markers. Okay, now it's time to move on to the legs and rain boots. If you're a guy and you want a shorter rain jacket, you can go ahead and take your pencil and draw two elongated legs um, with some pants on. So you'll wanna draw a leg and a leg. And you can color in now I'm making my legs look like they're walking, like I'm walking in the rain. So I've got my front leg um, going diagonal, like it's walking forward, and then my back leg is straight up and down vertical. So the longer you make your legs, the shorter your rain jacket appears. Um, so if you're a guy and you want a shorter rain jacket, you can color in your legs like a bluish color, like you're wearing blue jeans and things like that. I'm gonna make my legs a little bit shorter because I want it to look like I'm wearing a little rain jacket dress. And I'm gonna go ahead and color in my legs like a, like a skin color. I'm gonna get like a goldeny color. Well, that's a little bright. That's okay. I may put some pink over that. Let's see if I can get to not. Well, that works. It's okay. I'm going to take my black marker and just kind of outline it. So there's my legs. They're supposed to be like a skin color. So it just looks like I'm wearing a little dress. But again... If you want it to look like you're wearing pants, color it like a bluish color and make your legs a little bit longer. So now I'm gonna make my rain boots. Um, I want black rain boots, but I don't have black construction paper. So I'm just gonna draw them and then color them in black. And so you guys can do that as well. Whatever color rain boots you want. If you don't have that color, um, just go ahead and draw them on white paper and then color them in. So to make your boot, You'll want to start with a vertical line, um, a vertical rectangle, I mean, sorry. A vertical rectangle, and then at the bottom of it, draw an oval. Once you have that, connect your lines. 
And then erase the insides. And then you have your boot. Now to make two boots that look identical and are the same size, I would suggest cutting this out and tracing it and making another one so they're the same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and color it in as well. So I forgot to mention this while I was drawing my main boots, but because my body is facing the left direction, the oval that I drew for my main boot is also gonna be going to the left. Now, if my body was facing the right, then I would need to make sure that the oval was facing, coming out on the right side, just to make it really look like my body's facing that direction. But I drew my rain boots, I traced them, I cut them out, and then I colored them black, because that's what I wanted. And then I'm gonna just glue them right into place, right on top of whoops, my legs. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those real fast. So now that my boots are glued on, I'm gonna start drawing in the rain for the background. So now this is kind of a whimsical approach to a rainy scene. Whimsical means it's like not really realistic. It's just kind of like fun, flowy, and creative. So I'm gonna start with around the boots um, to get some colors in here. Now you don't just have to use blue. Um, Blue is typically used for rain because it looks like water, but because this is a whimsical approach, go ahead and use all sorts of different colors. I'm going to use these um, same colors that I used throughout the rain jacket and the umbrella, and I'm going to also add in some green and some yellow to tie in the rain jacket and the umbrella too. So these are the colors I'm going to be using um, for the background rain. So you're going to start with around the, um, the rain boots in a oval direction. And you're going to start with this because it's going to kind of be like a puddle that you have from being underneath your umbrella. So right around your boots, go ahead and draw like a, um, a circular shape just like this and then kind of connect your lines and then so again because your umbrella is kind of like blocking the rain so that's why we've got this going on and then I'm gonna fill in the um, the oval shape alternating colors going all the way in so I'm gonna go ahead and do that After your circular puddle is done, now you're going to just fill in the whole background um, with little um, slashes, little dash marks of color. So now you can make all of your lines go straight up and down, um, and they can be all sorts of different randomized colors. You can make all of your lines go diagonal, and maybe you make stripes of color like the stripe is blue, the stripe is purple, the stripe is green. You can kind of fill in your background colors however you'd like. Maybe you want this side coming in diagonally this way and these lines coming diagonally in this way. You can really just fill in your whole background however you'd like. Remember this is a whimsical approach so just kind of have some fun with the way that this rain look. So I'm going to go ahead and start coloring in my background for the rain.
Okay, before we move on to the next step, I almost forgot about the handle to our umbrella. Um, so you can take any color of marker you would like. It can be brown, so it looks like wood, or it can be gray or silver, so it looks like metal, or I'm just gonna use black because I've been using a lot of black on this. So you'll want to find your hand and draw a straight line going up to the umbrella like that and then you'll want to come down through the hand and make a little like a little backwards J or like a hook and that'll be the umbrella handle so just like that you'll you'll want your hook to hook in the opposite direction that your body's facing so because my body is facing left my hook is to the right and then vice versa if my body was facing to the right my hook would be facing to the left so there's that real fast all right now to the fun part so my background has been filled in with all sorts of little dashes it's pretty time consuming to fill up the whole background but it makes it look really nice um again you could have done filled in your background however you would have liked to done it but this is kind of what i like to do and then you'll need your jar of water and a paintbrush if you don't have a paintbrush um, a q-tip will work or a paper towel just something to kind of rub the marker around with so your markers kind of act like watercolors but they're just more of a solid form so the water kind of activates it now most of your guys' paper at home probably isn't really made for water. Um, what that means is like your paper gets warped and it can rip and it can get bubbly if there's too much water. So this step you'll have to be really careful with. So you're just going to take your paintbrush and then lightly spread it. A little bit more water. Lightly spread it around your marker and you can kind of start to see that marker bleeding which is turning my white background a little bit more blue so you can kind of see the difference of that blue so I'm gonna keep doing this again being as gentle as possible with my paintbrush because I don't want to rip my paper because it's not really made for water, but we can still get that same effect, kind of like water. And this will kind of give a washed out look to kind of really make it look like a rainy scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, use my water in my diagonal lines I'm going to skip over my puddle and making sure not to get any, oh, let me turn that on. I'm gonna skip over my puddle and I'm gonna make sure to not get any water on my actual person. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now that I have take my, taken my paintbrush and rubbed all the way down my colors, I'm going to take it and in a circular direction, I'm going to rub it along my puddle. Um, so this is why we are avoiding the puddle, because we want more of a, a circular spread of these colors. The longer your water sits, the more you're able to see your little color bleeding in progression.
So once you have gone around your whole project with your water, you are all finished. I would love to see your guys' project results. So ask your parents to take a photo of it and you can email it to me or you can have your parents post it to the Tennessee Christian Preparatory School Families Facebook page so I can see your guys' results.